السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أبنائي طلاب الصف الخامس بمدرسة الأندلس الابتدائية الخاصة للبنين Welcome to our enrichment exercise revision video In this video we are going to revise and practice more on the language functions the reading and comprehension texts the grammar and vocabulary and writing. Let's start with the language functions and the first exercise is read and match. First of all you have to read all the sentences and all the choices you have before matching. You have to read them well then start to match. Number one would you like to go to the mall? Number two, what is your full name? Number three, it's a color which you can find in nature. Number four, when are you going to travel to France? And the choices we have, A, Salim Muhammad, B, sure, great idea, C, next week, D, green color. So who can answer number one? Would you like to go to the mall? What is the suitable choice here? Yes, sure, great idea. Number two, what is your full name? Yes, great, the suitable answer is A, Salim Muhammad. Number three, it's a color which you can find in nature. Yes, green color. Number four, when are you going to travel to France? Yes, next week. Another exercise, read and match. Number one, what did Gerham Bell invent? Number two, would you like to go shopping with me? Number three, who is the pilot? Number four, what are you going to do tomorrow? The choices we have is Number A, sure, why not? B, the telephone C, I'm going to go to the park D, someone who flies a plane Number one, what did Garham Bell invent? Yes, he invented the telephone Number two would you like to go shopping with me? Sure, why not? Number three, who is the pilot or who is a pilot? Yeah, he is someone who flies a plane. Who he is? The pilot is someone who flies a plane. Number four, what are you going to do tomorrow? I'm going to go to the park. Now let's move to the reading texts and the first reading passage we have How water came to dry lands Read the passage and answer the questions Let's read the passage together Long ago, dear man and the blue bearded woman led the people to this world They lived in a land where there was no running water. There was only a wide lake with water that was not fit to drink. People complained so much. Dear man gathered the people together. We must have water, he said. Can someone bring back a bottle of fresh water? He asked. He waited then a very soft voice said, I will. It was a tiny snail. It was small and slow. It took the bottle onto its back and started to move. At night, snail returned with the bottle. It climbed the hill and the water was running out of the bottle. In the morning, people started singing the water chant. 
The deer man said, thanks to the snail, we will have fresh water all the time. Now, let's move to the questions. Number one, what is the problem in this land? What is the problem in this land? There is no food, there is no water, there is no petrol, there is no money. Yes, there is no water. The problem is there is no water. Number two, why is the snail a surprising choice to bring the water? Why is the snail a surprising choice to bring the water? It's small and slow, or it doesn't know the place of the water, or it's strong, or it's big and fast. Yes, good, it's small and slow. Number three, did the, th the snail bring the water? Did the snail bring the water? Yes, it did. At the end of the story, the snail brought the water. So. The answer is yes, it did. Number four, what did the people do when they saw the water? What did the people do when they saw the water? Huh? What happened at the end of the story when the people saw the water in the morning? Yes, they started singing the water chant. They started singing the water chant. Now, let's move to the next reading passage, number two, Scouting. Have you ever heard of Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts? Well, Scouting started in 1907 as a way to teach children different skills like first aid, surviving in nature, and working in teams. Today there are over 38 million boy girl scouts from 216 countries. All boy girl scouts wear uniforms and they get special merit badges when they do well in an activity. My name is Jake and I have been a boy scout for three years. We do lots of activities and we get merit badges. Right now, I'm trying to get my coin collecting badge. I have found most of the coins I need, but I still need a few more. I'm Erica, and I have been a Girl Scout since 2008. I have made lots of friends with the Girl Scouts and we have a lot of fun. We are outside a lot and we explore nature. We do lots of exciting things like hiking, canoeing, and I've been camping three times so far. Now, the first question is, how long has Jake been a Boy Scout? For three years, for 13 years, since 1907, since 2008? Yes, the correct answer is for three years. Jake has been a Boy Scout for three years. Number two, what badge is Jake trying to get? Exploring nature badge, coin collecting badge, firefighting badge, first aid badge. Yes, coin collecting badge. Number three, what do boy girl scouts wear? What do boy and girl scouts wear? Yes, they wear uniforms. They wear uniforms. Number four, when did Erica become a girl scout? When did Erica become a girl scout? She became a girl scout in 2008, or you can see, you can say 2008 only as a short answer, but it's better to write a complete answer. She became a Girl Scout in 2008.
8. Now, my dear students, let's move to the grammar section. Read and choose the correct answer. Number 1. A painter is someone space paints portraits. Is it which, when, who, or where? Yes, the correct answer is who. Because we use which with things or animals. When with time. Who with people. Where with places. And here the painter is a person. So we should use who. Number two. You like to go to the park? Is it would you like or must you like or is you like or might you like? Yeah, great. The suitable answer is would. Would you like to go to the park? Let's move to number three. The boys go to the mall tomorrow. So, be careful for the word tomorrow. Tomorrow is a time expression for the future tense. So here, and the boys here, is it singular or plural? So the subject here is plural. So we should use a plural form. Yes, the boys are going to. The boys are. If we said the boy, so we will choose as. But here boys, plural. So we will use are going to. Number four. What would you like to drink? Orange juice, lemonade. Huh? Here are two choices. So for choice, we use or. What would you like to drink? Orange juice or lemonade. Number five. A greenhouse is a place you can grow plants in the winter. It's very easy. Here, as you can see, before the space we have, a greenhouse is a place. With places we use, yes, great, where. With places we use where. Number six. Are they going to travel to Spain next month? Are. Are they? Are they? When we ask with are, the answer should contain are. If you have are at the beginning of the question, so the answer also should have, should has are. Yo, yes, they are. Because we ask it with are. Do as shown between brackets. They are going to visiting their uncle next week. Here, correct the verb. We have to correct the underlying verb visiting. And it should be visit, not visiting. They are going to visit their uncle next week. Number two. The mall is a place when we can buy many things. The mall is a place when. Correct the relative pronoun. We cannot. We cannot use when with places. We should use where. Would you like to drinking a cup of tea? Correct the verb. Drinking is wrong and it should be drink. He am going to travel to France next month. Correct the underlined word. Am. Can we say he am? No, we can't. We should say he is. Right? He is. Now let's move to the vocabulary. Fill in the gaps with the suitable words from the books. In the books here, we have four words. We have the word planet. We have space stadium and inventor number one spencer silver is the of the post-it notes spencer silver is the yes inventor of the post-it notes great thank you number two i went to khalifa to watch the football match huh where where can we see the football match? Yes, in the stadium. We went to Khalifa Stadium to watch the football match. Number three. 
we should recycle more to help our great to help our planet good and the last one an astronaut is a person who travels to space yes the astronaut is a person who travels to space Here we have another exercise. Fill in the gaps with the suitable words from the books. In the books we have an astronaut, mechanic, fundraiser, and information. Number one, Maggie is looking for on the internet. Yes, Maggie is looking for information on the internet. Number two, when I grow up, I want to be when I grow up, I want to be an astronaut. Good. Number three, A is someone who fixes cars. The person who fixes cars is a mechanic. Yes, mechanic. Number four, yesterday there was a, yeah, there was a fundraiser at our school to help poor people. Fundraiser. Now, my dear students, we have reached to the last part of our enrichment exercises, which is the writing. Here we have two topics for writing. The first one is write a postcard of six sentences to your friend Ahmed about your visit to Doha. Here you have helping questions like when did you arrive? What did you do? What are you going to do in the next days? First, you have to start your postcard with the word Dear Ahmed, then start to tell him about the time that you arrived in and what did you do and what are you going to do in the next days of your visit to Doha. The second topic for writing is write a paragraph of six to seven sentences about your favorite book and here you have helping questions. What is the name of the book? Who is the author or the writer of the book? What is the book about? And be careful, don't write less than six sentences. You can write six sentences or more, but not less than six sentences. Now we have reached to the end of our video. Thank you, my dear students, for your time. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Goodbye.